Hello, my name is Joe. I'm a real fan of Jean Bonnery of Penn. And today, I'd like to tell you about him and his relationship to the team of play. Play, who engage in a physical or cognitive activity for enjoyment. Play is a common across human societies and even among animals. Just think of kittens playing together. While the ease of play is often associated with the innocence of childhood, it undoubtedly fills everyone with wonder, and artists are no exception. Calder. Circus comes to mind, along with his mobiles that defy the laws of gravity, with their metal rods and colorful shapes that hang like tight rope walkers. Jean-Paul Riopelle has always blurred the boundaries between play and art. The artist loved the clowning around. His friends fondly remember the time he built tiny chairs out of champagne corks, or the time he crawled through a dog door to impress a famous art dealer. Play was at the heart of Jean-Paul's storytelling. He had the gift of telling fantastical stories that he claimed were true, or shared true stories that were just as astonishing, like his time stealing roosters from church steeples. Jean-Paul's body of work leaves and breeds play. He created a series of paintings featuring string games known as Ajarak in Inuktitut, a traditional game that portrays Inuit life stories and legends. His fascination with them first came from a book. He was really having fun playing these games with his daughters when they were young. Jean-Paul also played with sculpture. For example, his piece Le Chien Isabelle, 1969-1970, is a stuffed dog that he received as a gift cast in bronze. And then there is La Joute, the monumental fountain sculpture located in Montreal's international district. It was created as a nod to capture the flag, which was a very popular team sport in schoolyards at the time. It comes as no surprise that Jean-Paul's interest brought him to the surrealist, French poets and artists who placed imagination at the heart of their creative processes by creating games such as Cadavre Exquis. 